going to show you how to enter and retrieve records in Sugar CRM. So here you log in and you get to your dashboard. Let's say you want to enter an account. If you hover over these modules up here and you just click them, it goes to the list view. But if you hit this drop down here, you can see you can create an individual account. Uh, you can view the list of the accounts or you can mass import the accounts uh, from an Excel file or a CSV file or you can also view the reports attached to those accounts and you have your favorites down here. So we're going to create an account and here you get the panel where you enter your information. So let's say this is John's Truck Company and then you can enter a website and so forth and all the information down here. Now, a lot of these are drop downs Let's say he's another, and you can arrange these any way you want within your module. To make them easy, you can eliminate things from here, and you can also add as many custom fields as you would like. Uh, these drop-downs, if you have a long list here and don't want to search for them, you can just start typing it here, and you can see that it pulls it up right there. You can add the street. And you can just hit tab to move to the next field. And it pulls that instantly over to the shipping address. Enter emails. and so forth going all the way down. If you don't want to see all this information you can hit the show less tab and it will just show the required information that will show up in the business card view up at the top. If these are primary email addresses you would hit the star if there's another email address. For instance let's say Bill's email is a primary contact and we hit the star there to designate the Bill's email address as a primary email for this account. Once you're done, you can hit save, and then your record saved. You can see it up there at the top. If it's a account that you work with frequently, you can star it. And then if you want to filter on just your favorites, you can hit my favorites, and it will pull up all the accounts that you starred. To go back and edit an account very quickly, you can just click on the account, and you don't even have to hit edit, you can just click directly into these fields in the view and then change the information right from there. You can add things or just edit the information. Now once you're done, hit save. If you want to create contacts associated to this account, you can either select contacts that already exist in your system or you can create a brand new contact from the subpanel directly under the accounts. You can add images so that you have an image of the person at the account. And you fill this out the same way that you do with all the other modules in Sugar. But if you hit save without putting required information in, it will prompt you to enter that required information and then highlight the fields that are required. Same is true for opportunities, leads, and all other subpanels down here. It's as easy as just either selecting a current record that already exists in the account or creating a new record. Also, all accounts and views have custom dashboards associated to them. This automatically populates with opportunity metrics and cases tied to this account, but you can also create your own dashlets within the dashboard of these accounts. You just hit edit. You can remove panels that you don't want to see. And you can add panels in columns of one or two. Let's say we want to add another dashlet. And we want all active tasks associated to this account. Now we don't have any active tasks assigned to this account now because we just created the account. But when we go in this account in the future, if there are tasks or to-dos, 
they will populate here without having a link to separate modules within the account. You can see all of your imp information directly from this dashboard right here. We'll show you how that looks in an existing account. You can see some of the analytics, such as opportunity metrics. There are two active opportunities with this account at that value. And open cases, planned activities. See, there's a call that is overdue. You can see all the metrics in this dashboard right here. You can also choose to follow certain accounts, contacts, opportunities, and so forth. So if I'm following this account, and something changes, such as the industry name, or maybe a new opportunity is created against this account, I can go under my activity stream and see the activity related to this account because I am now following this account and all activities associated with this account. Let's go back to accounts. In the list view of your accounts, contacts, opportunities, or any such module, if you want to quickly just view a record's information without drilling into it, you can hit this preview button here and it shows up over here by the dashboard. You can also see the activity feed related to that account or record that you clicked. And if you hit show more, you can see all the extra information. You can also choose to edit the information quickly directly here from the list view, saving you time from having to go directly into the record to change it from there. If you want to see the activity stream associated with your accounts, you can hit the activity stream here and now this shows all activities, links, changes, and so forth associated with all of the accounts. Additionally, if you ever want to remove the dashboard over here or you don't want this panel and you want to expand this, you can just hit that sign right there and it takes up your whole screen and you can work within your list view like this. And that is how you enter and view records in SugarCRM.